Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking a bit about this Glowfish 5 gallon aquarium right here. So if you saw my video not too long ago where I did the big unboxing of the Glowfish 5 gallon tank, the Glowfish 10 gallon tank, and the Glowfish little uh, water conditioner and stuff, this is the 5 gallon tank from that video. So the Glowfish 5 gallon tank, it came with a heater, filter, as well as this LED light that has a white LED strip and a blue LED strip designed to really pop the Glowfish's colors. There's all blue right there. And basically today I'm going to be setting this up for my six Glowfish Tetras that are coming in the mail, which you'll see an unboxing of those not too long from now. We're going to go ahead and start by setting up this tank. I did make a few modifications to the kit, and that's what I'll talk about real quick. First thing is the filter. I'm using a different filter. I'm using a hang-on back filter. I'm going to be using the AquaClear 20 right here. It's 100 gallons per hour. I'm changing out the filter because I didn't like the big bulky internal filter. It came with the Tetra Whisper internal filter. I don't love internal filters because they take up a lot of room in the aquarium. So that's what I'm going to be doing also. And then also, I'm not going to have a heater in this aquarium. The reason I don't have a heater in this aquarium is because it is summer where I live. Summer where I live means it's hot. And it's pretty hot in my room. My room stays like 78 degrees constantly. It's honestly a nightmare to sleep in. But that also is good for my tanks, which means I don't need heaters for my tropical tanks. I have heaters in most of my tropical tanks, actually. Just there kind of as extra. But I'm not going to put a heater in this tank. And the reason that I'm not and that I can back it up with facts is because I actually had a five gallon tank here that was a Fiddler Crab tank and I never put a heater in it because it was in this little confined area right here. Heat stored in there basically and it never dropped below like 76 degrees. I think it stayed at like 77 constantly. So that's actually perfect for tropical fish. No need to put a heater in there if it's going to stay 77 constantly. Obviously, I'll monitor the temperature before the fish get here, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up a few weeks ahead of time, not only so it can cycle, but also so I can go ahead and monitor the temperature. If I do need to add a heater in, I will, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't because I've had such good luck with the Fiddler Crab staying at 77. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting in some of my Glowfish decor, which I did already have Glowfish decor, so that was perfect. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Starting now, we'll go ahead and grab the gravel, pour some gravel in here, stick the plants in there, add the water, set up the filter. And then later in the video, you'll see the fish. So far, here's the tank. Far from done, as you can see. I basically just put a layer of gravel in the aquarium, placed my fake plants wherever I wanted them. Now, as you can see, this is an explosion of color. That's what glowfish are all about. So, you know, this might not be your favorite looking tank that I own, but that's fine. You know, this is a glowfish tank using glowfish products because that's what I was given for free. And then we have the filter in the back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up back with water. I'm gonna go ahead and dump water into the back of the filter to prime the filter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the filter and turn on the lights and then we'll go ahead and add water conditioner and stuff like that. So here's the tank all set up as you can see. We have the glowfish plants, the glowfish gravel, the little glowfish decor as you can see and soon we'll have the glow fish. So here's how the tank looks with all the lights off in the room, except for the other aquariums. But here's how it looks with the just blue LED light on. And then there's how it looks with the normal like white and blue LED light. So I think I'm gonna keep it on just the blue light because not only does that make the decor pop, but it also makes the fish pop. So this tank is pretty small for six fish, six glow fish, which are pretty big fish. That's why I updated the filter, by the way, that's because I wanted more room for media because I will be getting a lot of fish in a small area. I'm assuming the fish are going to ship to me pretty small, that's just my assumption, so that's why this tank should be good. In the long run, maybe I'll move the fish to a 55 gallon that I have somewhere else in my uh, office right now. That's besides the point. Here is the tank all set up. Now I'm going to go through some of the products that they sent me and then we're gonna kinda go through what each one does and why you should use it or shouldn't. All right, so these are the four products I got sent to me. I got sent three of each of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through them real quick. Here we have water conditioners. So this is what you're gonna use whenever you do a water change in your aquarium or whenever you set up the tank like I am now. You basically do, I think it's a teaspoon per gallon, I'm not sure. Yeah, one teaspoon per 10 gallons. And this will condition your water, remove any chlorine, chloramide, and it also I believe has a stress reduction thingy in it. So this is a Glowfish brand. This is made specifically for Glowfish. That's not necessary. You can honestly buy any water conditioner and it will do completely fine for any fish. So if you want to go ahead and stick with the Glowfish brand, go ahead. This is basically just normal water conditioner, nothing special. Next up is Color Booster. So this you add to your water weekly, I believe, and this will help boost the color of your Glowfish. It creates ideal water chemistry for Glowfish. So I'm not sure if it actually boosts the Glowfish color, 
as much as it like regulates pH and things to kind of make sure they're not stressed out. If you want to go ahead and I guess boost your glowfish's color, go ahead and try this out just like I'm going to be trying it out. Once again, I don't know if it works good or not. I can't say anything on that, but I will definitely be trying it. Next up is Tetra Safe Start. So this you're supposed to use when you start up a new aquarium. I personally haven't used Tetra Safe Start. I've only used the PetSmart brand, but I think it's basically the same thing. It claims that it contains bacteria in it. If you look at the ingredients on the back, there's different strains of bacteria actually living inside the bottle. So if you're going to set up a new tank, I would highly recommend picking some of this up even by a different brand. It doesn't have to be Tetra. This is just, once again, what I have. Next up, we have Glowfish Flake Food. So this is basically special formulated flake food to feed your glowfish. It's supposed to enhance their color and, you know, give them all the stuff they need to survive. Personally, when I have my other glowfish, I just feed them tropical fish food. I have no idea if there's an advantage over this stuff. It does claim to make their color brighter, so I think that's a plus. If you have just glowfish, I'd honestly recommend getting this stuff. It's not that expensive, and it says that it will, you know, brighten up their color. I will be just feeding these guys just this food just to see, you know, what it does. So that's it from a little chemical lineup. I will be putting in some water conditioner as well as the safe start. And I'm also going to be putting in some cycled filter media basically to make sure this tank's ready for the glowfish. That's it for the tank. Let's go ahead and wait a little bit. For you, it will be about two seconds. For me, it will be a few weeks. Let's go ahead and get the glowfish. All right, so it's actually a couple weeks later from that last clip, and I actually have the fish. The top looks a little mutilated because that's why I opened it. I was here when they arrived. The guy literally just knocked on the door. As you can see, glowfish rush perishable. It says that all the way around the side. These were shipped overnight, so one day shipping. And we're gonna go ahead and see the duct tape I put on there. It didn't come that ghetto. We're gonna go ahead and see if they're all alive. Hopefully they are. So first off, we have a little packing slip that talks about acclimating, stuff like that. And then this is the little invoice right here, which once again, I didn't pay for these. This was once again sent to me for free. But anyway, right here we have our styrofoam cooler. It's a little bit warmer outside than I wanted it to be, but I was able to grab them right away. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and I see our fish. We'll go ahead and take the bag out. And there they are. They actually are pretty big. I expected them to be a lot smaller. They're doing really good. They're all alive. Like I said, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. They're double bagged. And yeah, this is just how they were shipped. So I guess now we'll go ahead and read acclimation. Go ahead and get these guys in, into the tank. Went ahead and acclimated them by just floating the bag for about 20 minutes and then adding a little bit of the aquarium water every 10 minutes and it seemed to work pretty well. So as you can see, here are our five glowfish tetros. They're all doing really well. They're all pretty lively. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. A nice setup video on the glowfish five gun aquarium and unboxing the glowfish themselves. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Good.